Hello everyone, I'm Vinodi Plain. Welcome to today's uh, DOS box in Windows for beginners uh, tutorial. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to add a, a desktop shortcut, uh, like all of these that you can see here, uh, a desktop shortcut to uh, any of your DOS box programs. Uh, so this isn't any specific program, it will work with any program that can work with DOS box. And it's just useful because it means that um, you don't have to type them, and you don't even have to launch DOSBox. Uh, you can just uh, launch the, uh, the uh, little uh, icon there, and then it will launch straight away. Um, anyway, what you're going to want to do to do this is firstly open up your file explorer. Uh, head over to uh, wherever you store most of your uh, DOS programs, and you're going to want to create a new folder. And uh, call this whatever you like, I'm just going to call it shortcuts and this is where you're going to um, hold all of the files that you use for the shortcuts and you'll see what I mean a little bit later um, anyway for next thing what you're going to want to do is uh, go to where you installed DOSBox 2 um, so uh, on a 64-bit machine the default is C colon backslash program files x86 um, and then DOSBox is 0 0.74 um, if you're if it's if you don't have a program files x86 then it'll just be in program files um, anyway what you're then going to want to do is uh, go over to DOSBox here the application uh, right click it and then send it to desktop create shortcut so this is then just a shortcut to uh, DOSBox there and it's pretty much the same as the original uh, shortcut that it creates when you first install it, but it's just got a different name. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is open up DOSBox 0.74 options. Uh, and just go File and Save As. Uh, head over to uh, where you created the uh, shortcuts folder, or whatever you call it and you're going to want to save as type to all files and you can call it whatever pretty much whatever program um, you're going to run in this shortcut so for example in this tutorial I'm going to be using Daggerfall as you do need to do quite a bit to um, run it because you need to mount both the C and D drives uh, but it works with anything uh, call it Daggerfall and then do dot .conf so you're saving it the file type is actually a dot .conf uh, for config configuration um, and then save uh, now you can see you're editing Daggerfall now and not the original uh, DOSBox kind of uh, program one you're now doing a separate file so this is where you can make changes uh, like how you would do for auto executing command lines you go right to the bottom hit enter so that you go to the next line and type in whatever you would normally type in actual DOS box itself so for example with Daggerfall you type mount C as C colon backslash DOS programs backslash Daggerfall backslash um, Dagger now this is just how I have um, Daggerfall set up to run in my computer you just type whatever you type um, so I'm going to actually pause it here and then unpause when I'm done. Okay, I've finished writing all of this. And so now you're just going to want to kind of set it up, um, the rest of this, a bit more. So I'll go over what you might want to do now. Set full screen to true. So this means that when, it, when you launch that desktop icon, um, it will launch in full screen. But you can always press on Alt and Enter buttons on your keyboard and then that will go back into window mode set mem size to 63 if you're using quite a high powered program like Daggerfall 63 is the maximum DOSBox can use um, you might want to set cycles to max which means that the processor will be running the emulated processor will be running as fast as it can and that seems like um, all you want to do uh, you will also get sound in this, but when I run uh, Daggerfall initially, uh, you won't be able to hear any sound. Also, um, although it will launch in full screen for me, uh, you'll see it as kind of a box kind of there-ish. Um, because um, 
DOS box is full screen isn't actual full screen because um, the games run in a much lower resolution as most screens are nowadays so um, you just kind of uh, just make sure that you think it's running in full screen and not um, yeah anyway um, so you now saved that and if you go into uh, that shortcuts folder again you'll see the downfall is there and if we just open it again then you'll see that all of the changes have been made to it uh, you're then going to want to uh, you can close the uh, file explorer if you want now and rename this shortcut whatever you want so I will then call it Daggerfall. Uh, and before you launch it, you have to right click it and go down to properties. And uh, in this target kind of area under just the shortcut uh, tab, uh, you're going to want to go right over to the right and uh, go space minus conf. So this is setting the config, which is what we just created. And you're going to then want to um, type in where you stored the configuration file of uh, what you're going to use. So uh, I did just say close the file explorer, but you'll have to reopen it and uh, go over to where you stored it. And you can right click on the uh, new config file and copy this location bit by selecting all of it like that. And then going on control and C at the same time pressing on both of those which is kind of like a copy shortcut uh, then head back into here and paste the configuration uh, location and then another backslash and then the name of it and then dot c o n f because as you can remember we saved it as a dot conf uh, and then close these marks and you have the config ready uh, you can then apply them. Uh, you can then launch the Daggerfall shortcut and it will work fine. You will, there will be sound. Uh, it will launch in full screen for you, but like I said earlier, uh, to you it will look like it's only in that box um, in this capture. So if I launch it now. And as you can see, it's launching. And just if you want to, you can press on Alt and Enter which will toggle the full screen like that uh, and you have your program running uh, so from there you can create custom icons um, you can then add that shortcut to the start menu uh, if you're using Windows 10 that's a bit harder than uh, usual but uh, I'll put links in description for how to create your own icon file like all of these um, how to then add an icon file to a desktop shortcut and also if you're a windows 10 user how to add a shortcut to the start menu um, but those are all also by me you don't need to watch them because right now you have your desktop shortcut there and ready to use uh, so for now thank you for watching this video uh, i hope you have uh, learned a bit today because i know this is a really useful trick so whenever you want to um, use your program you can then just go and launch the icon uh, straight away do um if you're interested uh use those uh links because they will definitely help you a bit more um so if you have any questions or any things that you would like to learn for dosbox you can put those in the comments section um don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh so thank you for watching this video and i'll hopefully see you in another video